Happy bandless season, everyone, or should I say free content season. I'm gonna give you my little prediction list, bit of a wish list more so than anything, and I'm gonna tell you why the format is in runes, because dragons have been buster locking, misc is deleting interaction, and very fun dragon is, you know, very fun to play against. I do want to give a shout out to my sponsor for bringing you this video, so here they are. Firewall Dragon is a Link 4 light cyburst monster, but it's neither fire attribute, dragon type, and of course, it definitely won't protect your personal data from cybersecurity breaches. That's why this video is brought to you by... Raid Shadow. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VFD, which stands for Virtual Private Network. Sick and tired of playing the same old Western meta of Block Dragon Special Summon Needle Fiber Girl! To head on over to the OCG and play. Surfshark lets you protect your online identity from theft, tracking, and commercial targeting. The new Crip Gaming Playmat right here! Why do you need a VFD for gaming, you might ask? World's points. God damn it. Surfshark VPN won't help you hack into Jesse's account for online decklist, but it'll definitely hide your IP address and encrypt your online data. Using the promo code FARFA, you can get 84% off and four months extra for free. Check the link in the description down below. 84%? Wow, that's the same percentage of opening driver. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna sponsor me again, are they? So let's address the same old cards that I've been hating on for like the past year, because as you all know, I sure do not enjoy playing as Floodgates. Buster, well, banned, because, you know, not being able to access your extra deck ever is pretty reasonable. Smoke Grenade, banned, ripping apart your entire hand before you even had a chance to play the game, it's pretty degenerate gameplay. Next ban is VFD. Now I know this will rustle some Volkswagen virtual world jimmies, but here's the thing. Deck's actually still good and pretty competitive even without VFD. Volkswagen players have been making double VFD to play around the disruption like Imperman Gamma on your turn. Or if they don't have the resources to make multiple VFDs, they simply dodge your Imperman Gamma by using the choo choo, whatever, honk honk trap card. <laughs> to pop their own VFD and thus circumventing Imperm and Gamma. Do I really need to sit here and explain to you why not being able to activate monsters for two turns is not fun? My final ban suggestion as well is gonna be addressing those uh, combo Christron fiber. This I've broken down into four parts and I'm sure there's something here for everyone. Now my first suggestion is, well, you know, ban needle fiber. No? Okay, suggestion number two. What if Mr. Konami doesn't want to ban Needle Fiber? How about we ban Link Cross instead? No? Okay. Why not both? No? Okay. What if Mr. Konami feels that Needle Fiber and Link Cross haven't had that much of an impact on the meta because there hasn't really been a meta technically for the last year or so? There hasn't been any YCSs and such to be able to really present these cards on the grand stage. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you covered. Suggestion number four. First, we ban all the tuna monsters. I mean, that's the direction we've been going in for the last year, right? What next? Crybons? No? Okay, this brings me to suggestion number five, if the previous four don't really take your fancy. What if we ban, and trust me, this might actually work. What, what if we ban, what if, what if we ban Metal Marcher? No, seriously, think about it. You don't get a machine for Auradon in the process. You have to play more Garnets to do the same combo as you would now without Metal Marcher, but, you know, you don't get a completely free Herald of the Arclight, Macrocosmos, Omni Negate for, like, no reason. Listen, I gave you five options and you said no to the first four. Like, what do you want me to do? My hands are tied. Limited section for number one, we will be limiting Miscellaneousaurus. Have you read Misk? <laughs> <laughs> Limited to one. Sky Striker Engage. No, seriously, that deck is really bad. It's a Mystic Mind deck with a schoolgirl and a toolbox. The OCG has had almost full power Sky Striker for a while now, and it's probably like tier two. Limited to one, Electromite. Investment, let's go! Blazing Vortex is coming out in like two months or something. Huge metal full support in the form of Electromite. What if they promoted the deck by bringing the old Electromite back to one? No. Okay, yeah, you're right, they want you to play old Bicycle Man instead. And my final limit to one, 
Orcust. Harp Horror. Orcust being meta isn't really bad. All of the unfair things that Orcust ever did was, you know, summon as a thought. And in my own headcanon, this list gets rid of VFD, so it can't even do that. What's the problem? It's a really skill-intensive mid-range deck that I think people generally look at quite fondly. Semi-Limited, Emergency Teleport, Gazelle, Fossil Dig, and Dryden. Eh. Unlimited, Infernity Archfiend, Seer, Graph, Buster Dragon, and Toad. Eh. Come on, you're really grasping at straws if you think any of those on limits are problematic. 30% of the people who watch my videos keep doing so without subscribing. What are you, like virtual world players or something? Subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you would like to see done this Christmas banless season. No? Okay. And until next time, adios. Okay.